This video is about the rectangular coordinate system for 8th graders. 8th graders, welcome to your virtual classroom. Just a few reminders for your convenience. Get a sheet of paper and a pen to answer the activities. To make sure you comprehend and follow through the concepts in the video, pause and replay at any time in any point. Now are you ready? Let's get started. At the end of this lesson, you are expected to describe the rectangular coordinate system. Define and illustrate the coordinate axis, the origin, and a point on the coordinate plane. And describe and plot positions on the coordinate plane using coordinate axis. Now let's get started. Are you familiar with the number line? If yes, well and good. If not, then what is a number line? Let us recall the basic form of a mathematical graph, which is the number line that represents the real number system. Try to look at this. The arrows on both ends indicate that the line extends infinitely in opposite directions. One the positive direction and the other one to the negative direction. The infinite points correspond to the real numbers where the numbers to the right of zero or the origin are the positive real numbers and those to its left are the negative real numbers. The real number corresponding to a point is called the coordinate of a point. Now, is it possible to draw a line vertically instead of horizontally? Where will you position the positive real numbers? And what about the negative real numbers? In this module, you will find out one of the applications of a number line. This time, Let's check out some grid. Look at the grid at the right. This is the rectangular coordinate system or the Cartesian coordinate plane. It is named in honor of René Descartes, a French mathematician who developed the Cartesian plane in 17th century. The Cartesian plane is formed by two lines that intersect at right angles. The horizontal number line is the x-axis, and the vertical number line is the y-axis. The point where the axes meet is called the origin, whose ordinates are 0, 0. The axes divide the coordinate plane into four quadrants. Labeled quadrant one, quadrant two, quadrant three, and quadrant four. The signs of the first and second coordinates of a point vary in the four quadrants as indicated. Let's go to quadrant one. In quadrant one, x is more than zero or x is positive is more than zero or y is positive. Points that belong to quadrant 1 have coordinates which are positive and positive. For example, A which coordinates are 5 and 2 and B with coordinates 3 and 6. In quadrant 2, x is less than zero or x is negative and y is more than zero or y is positive. The coordinates are negative positive. For example, point C with 
with coordinates negative 2 and 5, and point T with coordinates negative 5, 3. Moving on to quadrant 3, where X is less than 0 or X is negative, and Y is also less than 0 or Y is also negative. The coordinates or the points in this quadrant have coordinates which are negative and negative. For example, point E with coordinates negative 7, negative 4, and point F with coordinates negative 3, negative 3. And lastly, in the fourth quadrant, X is greater than 0 or X is positive, and Y is less than 0 or Y is negative. So, points in this quadrant have coordinates positive and negative. For example, point G with coordinates 7, negative 4, and point H with coordinates 3, negative 6. There are also points which lie in the x-axis and the y-axis. The points which lie in the x-axis have coordinates x0. For example, point I with coordinates 4, 0 j with coordinates negative 2, 0. While for the points which lie on the y-axis, have coordinates 0, y. For, for example, k has coordinates 0, negative 7, and l has coordinates 0, 5. Now, look at the rectangular coordinate system. Every point on the plane corresponds to exactly one pair of coordinates called the ordered pairs. The ordered pair, denoted by the symbol x, y, where x is the directed distance of the point from the y-axis and y is the directed distance of the point from x-axis. The x-coordinate is called the abscissa. And the y coordinate is called the ordinate. These numbers are called the coordinates of a point. For example, point O with coordinates negative 2 and 4. Negative 2 is the abscissa, and 4 is the ordinate. Again, you can pause and replay this video as needed. Now, let us test our new knowledge. Get a separate sheet of paper and a pen to answer Activity 7.1. Activity 7.1 has two parts. Part A. Determine the quadrant where the following points are located. You have 10 numbers to answer. Let's take number 1. M with coordinates negative 4, 5. Pulling up our guide. Negative 4 and 5, that is negative, positive. And so, M belongs to quadrant 2. Part B, indicate the axis where the following points lie. There are 10 numbers for you to work on. Let's take number 1. Negative 4, 0. And let me pull out our guide. Negative 4, 0. It belongs to the x-axis. Very good. Again, you answer on a separate sheet of paper and submit your work on time. Were you able to answer the activity above? Good job! I am happy that you have understood the lesson. Now get ready for another learning. In this lesson, you will locate the position of the points in the tradition plane. Now, question. How to locate a point? To locate a point, A, with coordinates x, y, let us do the following. Start from the origin. Move x units horizontally along the x-axis. Move y units vertically and draw the points and label it A. Plot points A and B. 
kind of see a rectangular coordinate system. So again, starting from the origin, two units from the origin to the right, and one unit down. And that will be your point A with coordinates to negative 1. For point B, that will be three units from the origin to the left, and four units up. And that is your point B with coordinates negative 3, 4. Let's have other examples. Give the coordinates of the points on the graph. Let's start with point M. Four units to the left from the origin and three units up. Point M has coordinates negative 4, 3. Let's go to point N. Point N, two units to the right from the origin and three units down. The coordinates of point N are two, negative three. Let's go to point P. That will be five units from the origin, which means that it lies on the x-axis and therefore P has the coordinates five, zero. Let's go to point Q. For point Q, that will be two units to the left of the origin and three units down. The coordinates of point Q are negative 2, 3. And lastly, we got point R, which is from the origin that's four units to the right and five units up. That is our point R with coordinates 4, 5. Now let's take this last example each set of points on the same set of axes. Connect the points and identify the geometric figure formed. Let's have set red. Set red, we have point A with coordinates 3, 6, point B with coordinates 5, 4, and point C with coordinates 1, negative 2. Connecting the points, we have a triangle. Very good. Let's go to the blue set. With blue set, we have W with coordinates 4, 3, and then X with coordinates negative 3, 4, and point Y with coordinates negative 3, negative 3, and Z with coordinates 4, negative 4. Connecting the points, we have a parallelogram. Very good. Now it's your turn. Activity 7.2 has three parts. Part A, complete each sentence with the correct word or phrase. There are five numbers to work on. Part B, indicate which quadrant contains the given point. If a point lies on one of the coordinate axes, indicate which one. And part C, answer the problem. You have two problems to work on. Again, answer on a separate sheet of paper and please submit your work on time. Here are the things that you need to remember. The rectangular coordinate system or the Cartesian plane was invented by the philosopher and mathematician Rene Descartes. This system is formed by two perpendicular number lines, one vertical, the y-axis, and one horizontal, the x-axis, which meets at the origin with coordinates 0, 0. The origin is the point where the x and the y-axis intersect. A quadrant is any the four regions in which the plane is divided by the x and the y axis. They are numbered 1, 2, 3, and 4 in a counterclockwise direction. 1, 2, 3, and 4 counterclockwise. Coordinates are represented by an ordered pair denoted by the symbol xy or abscissa coordinate where x is the directed distance of the point from the y-axis and 
y is the directed distance of the point from x-axis. The x-coordinate is called the abscissa and the y-coordinate is called the ordinate. Quadrantal points are points located in a quadrant. For example, point A, negative 5 and 1, belongs to quadrant 2, and point B, with coordinates 3, negative 3, belongs to quadrant 4. And eggshell points are points that lie on any axis. For example, point C belongs to the x-axis and point B belongs to the y-axis. Any point located on either axis is not in any of the quadrants. Congratulations! You have reached the end of the video. Once again, this has been your teacher. Mary Kate, get involved and keep on learning. Thanks for watching.